Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial I will show you how you can walk over to an object and press down a key and then the timer will go down and when the timer reads zero you will pick up the item. This is a part two of my inventory tutorial. You can always uh, follow along in this video if you only need the the pickup function but if you need everything with the inventory and drop function that i have here i will leave a link in the description for part one where i'll creating the inventory in this tutorial i only cover the pickup function uh, for the objects yeah let's get to it so in my previous tutorial we added this inventory system, so you could take the player and you could uh, walk into these different uh, objects and they would be added to the inventory and they would be stacked as well as you see over here to the right and you could drop them as well. So now we will modify this a bit so you can walk uh, to the object, hold down a key and then the timer will go down and when it hits zero, you will pick up the item instead. We need to adjust some small things. So first, open up the pickup script that we made in the other tutorial. Remember, uh, the link will be in the description for uh, the inventory system. When you have opened up the script, here we had the untrigger event that we used uh, when we walk into the object. Now let's make a uh, void instead. So public void and call this uh, pickup item. And here we can simply just copy all this and paste it up here because now we have to call this instead of uh, when we are walking into it. So, in my case here, I will just comment this out. And now we have it on the pickup. So let's save this. Hit back again. Now create a new script. If you already have a player script, uh, you could use that. Uh, I do not have that for my player here, so I will just make a player. Uh, go to your your player, let it compile. Let me remove this one. Add the player script to your player. Whoops. And open it up. And in here, oops, what happened? And in here, we'll make these small things. So first we need a public float, a uh, public float for the timer. And this is the time uh, time that you will hold down the key before you will pick it up. I will just keep it as five. I will set it as five. Then we need a list of game objects. And the these are the items that you will pick up. So we will just call it pick up items. And it's equal to a new list of game objects. We can remove the start function. And in the update function, we will say if input dot get key. And remember to use the get key. The get key is when you uh, are holding down the key. The get key down is when you press it and release it again. So it's only a one time. So get key and uh, I will just use uh, kigo.space and when we hold down the space key the timer uh, should minus equal one times time dot delta time. So we will minus one when we uh, press down the space key. Then we need to say we can we can just copy the, uh, uh, this code, paste it underneath, and then we can say if we get key up. So when we release it again, 
we need to set back the timer to five again. Like that. And then we of course need to say if the timer is equal to zero. Oh, sorry, uh, less or equal to zero, then the timer will go to zero. So we don't go below. There's no reason for that. Then we'll need to make a new on trigger enter here. So let's make a private. All this up here we just made will control the time when you hold down the space and release it again. So now we need to find the item that we need to pick up. So let's make a, if you just type on trigger enter and remember to take enter and not enter 2D. And here we can say uh, if other, ah, sorry, I need to put it in here. Other dot game object dot tag is equal to pick up. Then pick up items dot add. So what we have here is a list of items. Right now we don't have anything in the list. But if we collide with an object called pick up, then we will add this item. And what do we want to add? the other dot game object. So the object that we collide with, we will add it to the list. So to remo remove it again, because right now when we walk into it, we will add it to the list. Uh, let me show you, just let's save it and uh, head back to Unity here. Let it compile. And underneath your player, uh, make an empty object and this all this we could call uh, uh, pick up point Yes, drag it in front of your player Add a box collider to it and Remember to mark it as a trigger So here if something enters this box Then it will uh, be added to the list all the items that you have, remember to tag them as pick up. Uh, you can make add tag, add a new tag called pick up, and then go back to the items and add the tag. Remember that this name needs to be exactly the same that we typed here. Else it will not work. And as you just could see, I made a mistake. For me, it was pick up with an uppercase. Um, yeah, now let's try hit play. If we take the player here, you can see we have the timer to five. And here we have the list. We have nothing in the list. So now when we hit play and we take the player and move him to that box. You can see it is now added to the list. Um, yeah, but when I move away from it, you can see it's still in the list. So we need to remove it when I'm walking away from it. So to do that, open up the script again, and here we can set, we can make an on trigger exit. So on trigger exit, again remember not to take the 2D. And here we can just copy the line up here. But instead of adding it, we will remove the item. So that will hand, handle the remove. So let's save. Let's go back. Let's hit play. And now when we walk into the item, it's added, as you can see over here. And when I move away, it's gone. So if I go to this one, it's the beef item and now it's gone. And if you have two items here, oh, I can reach both of them. Yeah, here you can see both of them are added to the list. So you can have multiple items at once to pick up. 
Now let's, we can just test the space. So if I hit space now, you can see the time over here is going down. And if I release it, it goes back to five. And if it, if I hold it down and it reaches zero, it keeps on zero. So now let's pick up the item. Go back to your script. And now we have to say if the timer hits zero, we will need to make a for each loop. So for each item in the pickup item list. So all the items that we have in the list, we will go through all of them. And if the item is, isn't equal to null, ah, sorry, <laughs> I forgot to write item. Uh, item isn't equal to, to null. So if we have an item in the list, or if we have an item, yeah, then item dot get component. And here we will get the pickup script. So this is the script that we have on all the components, all the items. We added that in the, the other tutorial, but it's the one we just uh, configured. I can open it up here where we removed everything from the untrigger to make it a public void function instead where we have to pick up item. So now we will say, uh, yeah, we will find that uh, script on that item that we are colliding with. And then we will call the pickup item. And save that. Head back to Unity. Hit play. And let me uh, press the player here. Walk to this item, it's added to the list. Hold down space after these five seconds. It's added to the list uh, or to the inventory, sorry. So now we have it here. Only one problem is that you can see now it's still in the list. Now it's just a missing uh, game object. So we need to remove it when we have picked it up. And we can do that by opening up the player script again. And then underneath uh, the if statement here. Uh, just a second, we can say pick up items dot clear. So for each item in the list, we will just clear, clear it every time. Uh, it reached zero because now we have picked it up and everything that's in the list should yeah, be clear. So let's hit back, hit play. Now we can walk to it. It's added to the list, hold down space. When we hit zero, we have picked it up. And there's nothing in the list. Uh, just a little correction. Uh, you could see we got this error uh, when we picked up an item. And that is because I made a little mistake here. We don't need the pickup clear inside the for each loop. We need it when the timer hits zero. Because else we will check all the items and that's no need for that. We need to clear it when we hit zero. So first we will pick it up and then we will clear the list. So put it out here to clear that error. So now when we save and hit back, hit play. Let's walk to the first, uh, hold down space, pick up the item, go to the next item. Hold down space, pick that item up. Yeah, that was uh, what I had to show you in this tutorial. I really hope that it uh, helped you out. Thank you a lot for watching and uh, remember, 
If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you next time.